What is up, captains and cadets? We have been flying with one tiny little ship for most of these tutorial videos, and now I want to talk about building a fleet, putting together multiple ships in the best optimized way to actually make some headway in Sage Labs, and we're gonna use some community-made projects that I think will help out a ton. So let's go, let's get into it. What is up, Muds? What's up, Onis? And what is up, Oosters? So we have been playing with one single air bike for the most part as our tutorial has been progressing through Sage Labs. And so I want to talk about building some fleets. So maybe you guys want to put together more than one little ship to be flying around in the Sage Labs escapade. So let's talk about putting a group of ships together, if not multiple groups of ships together. And we're going to call those our fleets. Maybe some of you guys out there have already, you know, you were chomping at the bit and already bought some more ships. Um, I think that even this, even though that uh, you might have grabbed those ships and might be mining with those ships and doing a couple different things, this video still might help you out because it actually might give you some ideas on how to break those ships up to do a couple different varied things with. So the first place I actually want to go to is actually YouTube um, because I've already made some really helpful videos. I, I, I think I believe they still are helpful, even though I made them a little while ago before all of um, the How to Play Star Atlas series that I've been doing came out. So one of the first videos I want to talk about, and I'll leave all the videos I'm going to talk about down in the description below, but one of the first videos I want to talk about is this one right here I made, and it's called Star Atlas Sage Labs Marketplace Tactics. And in this video, I put in as many golden tickets. I came out with this video before Sage Labs even came out, even was released, and I, I still believe that these tactics kind of hold up today. So it's, uh, it's basically about, I think, five or six different play styles here that you can kind of choose. And one is called the Hoarder, one is called the Farmer, one is called the Auctioneer, one I named the Even Steven, one I named the Specialist, and then the last one I called the Gambler. Um, so even if you kind of like already kind of playing through, you know, you got a you know a couple different fleets going or just one fleet going, um, this might give you a few ideas that maybe you can, uh, kind of isolate your fleets to be doing a different style than you're already kind of working on or maybe give you some ideas that you can actually work with with your fleets that you are going to create in the future so i'll leave this down in the description below like i said um the next one i want to recommend you guys watching is this one called um star atlas sage labs hot tips and i kind of go over some some tips that might be helpful for the ui because now we've already been playing you know sage labs for a little bit and we might you know find a couple little tweaks here and there that were you know frustrating um i don't know like maybe like the low you know some of the loading problems or um maybe like when you hit back you keep on loading out of sage labs and have to re-log in i talk about all these like little tiny like tips that you might have already discovered or, or you might be kind of like have a dumb moment like that's how i discovered a lot of the tips i kind of had this little dumb moment and uh and found these kind of i don't know little helpful um, ways to make the whole gameplay a little nicer some of the things in there you might notice this was an older version of uh, sage labs that i was working on um, when I was uh, giving out these tips, but for the most part, they are pretty helpful, I believe, still to this day. And then the last video I recommend watching, this one I would watch this tutorial that I'm putting out right now first. And if you are interested in the AFIA tools that I'm gonna talk about, one is called Nancy, and the other I just call the uh, the flip side, um, the flip side page made by Victor. <laughs> it's kind of like how I refer to it. Victor is one of the guild members of AFIA. Um, I'm going to talk about those at the end of the video and I, I'm, I'm not going to dive too deep into them because they are so in-depth and they might be way more information than you need right now. But if you do decide that you want to become a spreadsheet warrior, um, I go more into depth on those two videos right there. So let's kind of jump into it now. Let's talk about the um, a few helpful fleet building community made projects that will be helpful for you guys out there. So the first one is made by the Spanish community. This is a nice nice and simple one this is uh, made by calibri especially i talk about them quite a bit because i use them a lot for this guide right here which actually gives the information on the um, prices for um, all the different components and the different resources out there but if you go to sage this button on the very end right here if you click on sage and you hit, click on labs um, it has a little uh, fleet builder right here so you can choose um, just start with fleet one and you can start choosing different ships into your fleet so let's say we are going to go for a rainbow chi okay we're going to hit one we're going to send that over there 
and we are going to choose fleet one again and let's make a let's do a rainbow line we'll choose an arc to go with that chi an arc is a fairly large cargo ship and we're going to add that into our fleet now this tallies up all the information that you will need as a spreadsheet warrior to figure out how this fleet will hold up in Sage Labs. It tells you your sub warp speed, um, your warp speed, your the, the amount of time it's gonna take to cool down every single time you uh, warp. Um, if you disband your fleet, um, let's say you were caught in the middle of the map and you ran out of fuel, it tells you the respawn time, it takes 244 seconds. The scanner cooldown time, so every single time this fleet scans for an SDU, it's gonna take 61 seconds for it to cool down. Um, the, how much cargo capacity so this has a rainbow arc which has a huge cargo cargo um, unit space in it so it, it can carry 159,851 units of resources um, the fuel capacity 68,600 um, ammo capacity and on and on so you can and it's um it has 15 crew members so if you are going to um, dismantle this fleet at one point for crafting you'll have 15 crew members to craft with um, and this also, don't forget, you want to make sure if you're going to go out scanning, you have at least 10 crew members to get the optimal amount of SDUs when you go out scanning. So this one, this crew would be fine. But now let's compare it with a second fleet. So you can do up to two fleets with this one, with this um, browser website right here. And uh, let's choose a Fimble, ooh, a Butch. That's kind of cool that they have it that in there. Um, that's one of the newest ships. Um, We'll do a pack light, which is another type of cargo ship. So we're going to go to one, the Fimble Bios pack light. And now you can see it made two different fleets right here. And we'll choose just one extra ship to go with that. We'll keep that in the Fimble line Two, We're going to choose an ERP and we're going to send that over there. So now you can compare the, the two different fleets right here. Um, now, since these each have a um, a cargo ship in it. This BIOS pack light is a cargo ship and this rainbow arc is a cargo ship. So the cargo might be something you're interested in. So if you get an arc, it's 159,851 um, units of space inside of it, but you only have 48,906 with this Fimble BIOS pack light. So you can see that the, how much more um, cargo space that the arc gives you. Um, now the arc is also quite a bit more expensive than the pack light. Um, you could buy a few pack lights for the cost of the arc. And that's something that actually let's just do that right now. We'll go to fleet two. We'll go down to the pack light and we'll add one more to be like, well, I can buy two for the price or maybe three to the price of the uh, of the arc. Let's see if that helps at all um, and see it doesn't even come close. Ninety three units of cargo capacity and one hundred fifty nine, almost one hundred uh, almost two hundred um, hundred sixty thousand. So um, this is a nice little website. It's going to be down in the descriptions below. You can check it out. The next one, we actually had used this when we were talking about different types of ships in one of the first tutorial videos I made. Um, this is um, fleet.staritalia.com, Star Atlas Italia, I'm sorry, fleet.staratlasitalia.com is the total name for it. And this is another nice, easy, user-friendly one. So let's say we want to, let's say we have a mining ship this time. We have an Armstrong Imp. You click on click on the imp and you can see quantity it added one right over to this side tally bar right over here and with that we're gonna grab um let's grab a calico compact hero so now we have two different ships in there um it tells us our total lp which is 25 you can go up to 145 is the total amount of lp you can have for certain ships so as you're playing with it if you have some uh really large ships you might not be able to add a lot of ships into your fleet you kind of have to keep the total LP units under 145 um, just so you know um, this all the all of these websites kind of help tally that up so you don't really have to worry about it but if you're in Sage Labs and see oh it says right here in the corner 145 max LP so yeah just have to keep that in mind it's um you can pretty much have 145 I believe Fimble air bikes in one fleet because their LP is only one per per unit and then it goes up per size of the ship like it's two for that's for the extra extra smalls it's two for the extra smalls um three for the smalls on and on and on up all right let's um let's just throw on a couple more ships right here we're gonna throw on a, a calico enforcer and actually since it's a mine ship we'll, we'll we'll go big we're gonna grab the imp tap it's the medium sized mining ship right here um so now when we go over here our lp is still 57 so we're well under the 145 um, you can see our cargo compare um, capacity is 75,000. Um, we have we can carry 55,000 fuel. It tells us the amount of ammo. Um, it gives us a little chart right here showing the the different capacity dis distributions, the um, the mining rate, how much you can mine um, per second, the um, the ammo burn that you're gonna burn while you are mining. Um, 
uh, the warp speed right here um the cooldown time so every single your max warp um it tells you how far you can warp and it's a one 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 minute and 15 second cooldown right here um the uh max warp travel so the travel basically as far as you can i believe that would be the sub warp travel um it tells you how far you can travel and it's it will take you 22 minutes it says it says remember to do um round trip consider round trip um freight efficiency um crew members 18 it tells you you can get that max of 10 scs per scan and tells you your scanning scanning cooldown will be just over a minute so this is a, again a nice little uh, website that you can kind of play with this is very very user friendly for um, clicking on ships and um, if you just want to change the number you know you want to have um, we're going to grab four um, four tips right there it'll automatically change the whole entire chart with you we still are 84 and we're under our lp so you can just play with a bunch of those things now i don't i don't know if you can do um, i've never figured out if you could actually do fleet versus fleet on with this italia um, website um, let me know in the comments below if you do know about how to do that or you guys can check in the comments below if someone pipes up and tells you if you can do more than one fleet so you can do a fleet comparison but at least for one fleet this is really nice and easy user friendly like I said so the next website I want to go to is Nancy so Nancy is that one that I was talking about that is a spreadsheet warriors dream now when you first get to Nancy you have this really nice ship gallery right here um, it kind of just tells you about every single ship that's available um, through the Star Atlas Marketplace. It has these really beautiful pictures, and I talk about this in that video that I recommended. Um, as you click down, there's charts upon charts upon charts. Um, but they even have um, some really nice charts for Sage Labs right here. See Sage Labs fleets, um, all sorts of stats and stuff like that. This, this could be very useful if you're putting together like a mining fleet as, a, as opposed to maybe a combat fleet for the future or if you're just looking for us to use i talk about this again in the video um if you want to go check out that um that one video i mentioned i talk about all that in this video right here star atlas afia fleet building tools but i just want to show you real quick um, to see if you guys are interested in this how the fleet building tools work right here they have a their own tutorial right here so you can always watch that tutorial but you can put together these nice fleets um, and then you get these really awesome charts after you put them together I'm just going to kind of scroll through so these are some of the fleets i put together and these are all the different ships um, that you can see in the different slots and you can come down after you put a fleet together and you can load your fleet up to get all the stats of your fleet so what are my, my mine are the sage labs mining fleets beyond the horizon right here um so you can see this is my fimble mamba fleet which i think is the actual fleet i'm still using today i have one fimble mamba i have three tufa feists i have a rainbow chi and a bio serp in this fleet and um you can see quantity by model i'll just kind of just quickly go through some of these uh charts right here um quantity by class and spec so it's comparing like fighters versus bounty hunter right here um you can see um the vwap by class how much they're worth that's not very important for sage labs um the crew size you can see that the um the largest crew we have is the three two for feists give us the biggest crew um, but as we come down to the sage labs lobby this is the most important stuff you can see the cargo capacity just with this um by putting together this little fleet you can see how much cargo the mamba has in comparison to three tufa feists um much less here's the bios herb and here's my rainbow chi again you can see that the um that that medium-sized ship which is the fimble mamba it dominates the ammo capacity it dominates our fuel um so it's a really nice ship actually for sage labs by the way the fimble mamba um, active crew for crafting uh, this is where the two for feist actually takes takes the but takes the uh, gold but this you know there's three of those compared to the one fimble mamba that still is pretty good as far as crafting and then as you go down it talks about um score and, and then which is where you if you don't want to keep your ships in sage labs and you want to just stake them to um, gain some atlas you can put them in the score mini game in the marketplace and it'll provide you with atlas as long as you're providing it with r4 and this tells you about the r4 that it will actually um, utilize and as you come further down it'll actually give you some specs for the upcoming combat that will be in St sage star based um, the next uh, impl implementation of um, of sage that's going to be coming out in the somewhat near future so very very nice very very detailed website right here it's, it's called Nancy. It's built by um, one of the AFIA members um, named we all call Kenny. And Kenny just, he, he's constantly updating this. It's an awesome, awesome website. There's tons of stuff that you can actually play with it by clicking through all of this. Again, go to that YouTube video that I talked about. I, I go into it in a little bit more detail. 
but I just want to quickly talk about the assembly area real fast if you actually just want to play with this on your own. Um, so this is create a fleet. Um, in order to use Nancy, you do have to give, uh, I believe, your email and um, I, I'm not too sure if it's much more information than email and do a captcha. And this is just to make sure that Kenny doesn't have any weird botters or anything like that. And I've never gotten anything weird from um, this website. So we'll give it a fleet name. We're just going to do this as the um, fleet name. We're going to do this as the how to play Star Atlas episode 12. And we'll make it public because we're just kind of talking about this. And you guys can actually see this little fleet that we created. If you go into Nancy, you'll be able to see the Beyond the Horizon How to Play Star Atlas 12 fleet. Um, it says define the purpose of your fleet. You can only pick one. So are we going to be scanning in Sage Labs, mining in Sage Labs, cargo, crafting, um, or just general or other? If you, um, we're going to uh, let's make a mining fleet. Um, since it's a mining mining fleet, we're going to add some tips and we're going to buy four tips for our fleet and ship slot two. Um, we want something to haul everything we mine with. So let's get a rainbow ohm and we're just going to add the quantity of the ship. We'll just add one of those in there. And then we're just going to have a couple guys just in case we want to go um, scanning. So let's add some evacs to that. So evacs have some really good scanners and they have plenty of crew members. So we'll add three of those evacs and then let's finish this assembly. It gives you this little redirection thing, but it'll bring you back to Nancy right there. And then you can see right now it's my eighth fleet, how to play Star Atlas 12. So now we can come down and we can find our fleet right here in the drop down menu. And there we go. How to play Star Atlas number part 12, Beyond the Horizon. Here's my four tips, my one ohm, my three Calco evacs. Oh, it's a very, very expensive um, fleet. That's only if you buy it from directly from Star Atlas. You could buy this fleet for a lot less money um, peer to peer. But if you are buying these um, these Armstrong imps, there's not a lot out there. So you might actually have to buy the some of the Armstrong ships directly from the team. And if you do, do not forget to please, please, please click on any of my um, on any of my videos. You can go down to the description and you will see my Star Path link right here. You click on that Star Path link. Before you buy anything, it brings you right to the marketplace. And then once you purchase something, you will get 10% off if you purchase it directly from the Automata team, the Star Atlas team. So please make sure you use that 10% if you are buying anything. And even if you are buying peer to peer, it locks you in for three months. So if you want to buy anything in the future from the team, there's going to be two new ships coming out now, a Tufa and an, and an Opal, a, one of the scanner ships I talked about in the last video. So a couple new ships coming out. So definitely they're, they're all, they will only be available from the team. So make sure you get that 10% off. So let's go back to Nancy right here and check out our new fleet that we just built. Let's go down to the Sage Lab stuff. So it's a, this one's pretty even actually. So we have a nice even um, cargo capacity, even though we have a uh, that that uh, Rainbow Ohm, which is a cargo ship right here. But those Calico Evacs actually carry a lot of cargo, so you can see that they dominate right there. And then we have the um, the three Armstrong Imps, three or four Armstrong Imps. I forget what I put. Um, ammo capacity, you can see the Calico Evacs totally dominate that, and the fuel capacity, the Calico Evacs again dominate that. Um, Calco Evacs are a surprisingly really nice ship also to play in Sage Labs. It's actually in the future, it's going to be there. Um, it's a medical ship, so it's going to be able to go out and, and help um, different passengers that might be out stranded um, after a battle, after a combat battle happens. But as far as Sage Labs, it's actually um, a pretty useful ship. So again, um, this is awesome, awesome website to use. Please check out that YouTube video if you're interested in it. It'll it'll give you a lot more deeper insight on how to actually use it. Lastly, I want to go over to the AFIA's um, Star Atlas Global Overview or the Flipside site or the site made by Victor. A lot of people say because Victor is the guy that actually pours his heart into this website right here. And there's all sorts of fantastic data right here that again is uh, is super super useful. Um, again, general market data right here. It's just charts upon charts upon charts once they all load so much stuff to dive into so one of the most useful tabs is this ship data tab right here and it just tells you gives you chart after chart after chart everything you can possibly think about um so here's a ship sale data like what type of ship is selling um between large capital small extra small the ship marketplace data 
this is the faction fleet so this is the what i was talking about um if you stake your ships into score if you want to gain yourself some atlas there's all the different data now this is pretty important for um, sage labs so this is a spreadsheet that talks about um here's the fimble air bike um you can see that it's a racer it tells you its cargo capacity its fuel capacity ammo capacity on and on and on everything you need to know sub warp speed warp speed um, and it does scroll over on the bottom right here it just keeps going so this is this is something that would be very useful to check out and before you know you buy a ship into sage labs you can kind of nerd out on this one chart right here um and now if we scroll up and we go to star atlas gameplay analytics now this brings us to where we can actually see some sage labs information right here um, see, so this is the introduction kind of talks about um, the different people that are actually contributing um, here's Victor that I was talking about Kenny who also made um, Nancy as a contributor here um, we have Steven Sertugo um, but if we go to Sage Labs overview as these charts load and again spreadsheets and charts and tons of stuff to pour your heart over if you want to be that spreadsheet warrior um, this is a bunch of mining information on the different mi you know what types of ships are the best for mining different look different things you can mine for biomass arco carbon diamonds gives you a leaderboard on who's doing the best mining oh my gosh it's so much information mining ship data so this you might find super useful if you're going to be buying a ship for mining oh we have the crafting i'm not going to go through them all but you guys can play with it we have the um sage labs crafting again it'll be very similar to what we just saw in the mining um cargo and scanning um and then um, how the factions are all kind of like going against each other, which factions are doing the best. Looks like Mud is doing awesome. It looks like my faction that I'm playing in right now isn't doing that great. 77 billion compared to 110 in Mud. Um, come on, Oosters, let's go. So lastly, I don't want to forget about the actual marketplace itself. So you can just go into the marketplace and then peruse around, go to ships and kind of read about what each ship is all about and there's some spec information on each one we've been talking about this this armstrong imp tip right here you can go to the item details and it'll give you some more insight on each one of the ships it'll tell you what type of components it has um its modules everything like that and we did talk about that in an earlier video i just wanted to remind you that um the actual marketplace does have some information also so i hope that didn't overwhelm you too much about building fleets you can totally wing it if you want you can just do whatever your heart desires this is just actually just trying to give you some insight that there is some information out there to try to optimize for the best fleet you can possibly build if you feel like going that direction uh, i am beyond the horizon please subscribe so you can get my last couple tutorial videos pop up on youtube when they come out Please hit that like button if you can. It really helps the algorithm. Um, let's other people know that are interested in Star Atlas that there are these tutorial videos out there for them. And I will catch you guys in the next video. I love you all. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.